In 2012, the Financial Markets Act was promulgated, and essentially what the piece of legislation at the time said is that if there was any trade or any um, um, exchange going on, that it needed to happen in a regulated space, in a regulated and licensed space. As I'm sure most of you are aware, the only stock exchange that is in existence and has been in existence for 130 years is the Johannesburg Stock Exchange. However, something that a lot of people don't know is that the Johannesburg Stock Exchange wasn't always the only exchange here in our country. We've had a few and nor was it the first. Our first was actually in Kimberley. So we have had a history whereby our legislative and regulatory framework has made place for more than one exchange. Of course, the JSC grew in such a fashion that it then swallowed everybody else around it, and so we ended up with one exchange. The reality is, is that most entities who were operating in an exchange space were trading over the counter or OTC. So what a lot of these entities or schemes then did was sought to apply for a license or alternatively to start offering up a platform where exchange or trade was done in a licensed space. If you look currently, there are four exchange licenses that have been awarded, and they are held by the Johannesburg Stock Exchange, by 4Africa Exchange, by A2X, and by Zarex. And then you've got 4AX, and 4AX is completely different in that our license allows us to trade across asset classes. So if you were to break it down and look at it from a traditional conservative exchange perspective, then there are only two stock exchanges with this type of license, and that is the JSC and 4Africa Exchange. But of course, 4Africa Exchange has sought to do things differently. And we're targeting medium-sized companies. Of course, we're targeting um, restricted share schemes. We are looking at the OTC space. But we're also looking at bankable projects, SPVs, special funds. So what, what 4Africa Exchange offers to the market, which hasn't been done before, is we are looking to bring the institutional and the retail investors together. Now the JSC, as I'm sure you know, have been geared towards institutional investment. Where we see a um, space that hasn't been accessed, that hasn't necessarily been plugged into, is the retail investor space. And what we're really looking for is to say that people who have been excluded, and we mustn't always assume that it's been exclusion because of our history and our political and economic issues, but rather that the capital market space has been seen to be the preserve of the few. That it is assumed that nobody will understand trade, nobody will understand stocks and shares, and so somebody else is doing it. We always assume that people who maybe are in the um, lower echelons of your LSM categories are the ones who aren't trading. And yet there are people in cent and people in our listed entities, people in the financial services space right now, who do not have a trading account. And so what we're saying is that we are, the ethos and the philosophy underpinning 4AX is to be inclusive, is to be collaborative. And when we talk about being disruptive, we are saying that we want to do things on a different, in a different manner on every conceivable level. It is about simplifying things. It is about simplifying our structures. It is about simplifying our listing requirements. It is about simplifying our fees. It's about making things easy and accessible. We believe that the Companies Act is a healthy piece of legislation, that it was correctly drafted, and so we've modeled the exchange on the basis of that piece of legislation. Should your shareholders wish to introduce any additional um, restrictions or any additional requirements, that's up to you and them. We as an exchange don't believe that we should big brother unduly. We believe that we must rely on the Companies Act, which has set certain protections in place, and without relaxing anything, because be clear, we are a licensed regulated exchange. So there is no relaxation, there is no circumventing of what is required by the law. But we just feel that we have, take, have to take the burdensome elements away and all the layers.